Starling Council residents now have a weekly collection for food waste. Food waste is a valuable resource that can be made into great compost and keeping it out of landfill is one of the most significant steps we can take to combat climate change. Collecting your food waste as you're cooking and tidying up after mealtimes only takes a few seconds a day. We'll leave a food waste caddy for you in your blue recycling box. If you didn't get one, you can check on the My Bins page of the Council's website to see when yours will be arriving and how to order additional ones if required. Experiment to see what's going to suit you and your kitchen and the other members of your household who use your kitchen. We have smaller caddies available that some people like to leave inside, while the larger one gets put out with the recycling. Or you may want to use a container of your own in the kitchen. As long as the food waste is put out in a caddy on collection day, the rest is up to you. You will get 20 biodegradable liners with your caddy. When they run out, you can then buy liners marked with the compostable logo at neighbourhood shops, at the supermarket, or online. On the other hand, wrapping food waste in newspapers is fine too, and some people prefer that option. You don't have to use any liner at all, but that will mean that your caddy will require more frequent cleaning. Please don't use plastic carrier bags. They ruin compost and the recycling crew won't collect them. Now, let's take a look at what goes in. You can put all sorts of things in your caddy. Cooked and uncooked foods, fruit and veg, meat and fish including bones and skin, leftovers, tea bags and coffee grounds, newspaper and biodegradable liners, used kitchen roll and paper tissue, and cat and dog food. Please don't put any of these items into your food waste caddy. Food and drink boxes, glass or plastic bottles, tins or cans. Along with household batteries, textiles and small electrical appliances, these should go in the recycling box. Plastic film, plastic packaging, yoghurt pots, pet litter, animal feces and disposable nappies all go in the grey bin for now. But please remember our reduced aims and where possible, keep what you use of these to a minimum. Rinsing your caddy regularly between collections will keep it clean and help prevent odours. Much of this will be familiar to people who already have a home composter and it becomes second nature in no time. In fact, the contents of your caddy could be emptied straight into a home composter and kept out of landfill that way, but we realise not everyone would choose that option. To make it easier for more people, all we need you to do is just to pop your caddy into your blue recycling box each week and your recycling team will empty it. You can get another recycling box if needed and another caddy if you have a lot of food waste. The most important thing is to remember that we empty your boxes and caddies by hand and require food waste to be inside a caddy for collection. Loose bags of food waste tend to burst open if left inside or on top of the box, which nobody wants. The separately collected food waste from households is weighed and then emptied into a watertight skip before transport to a composting facility where it's mixed with other materials and turned into a soil conditioner. This is a similar process to what happens to the cardboard and garden waste in the brown bins to make castle compost, but it has to be handled differently because of the meat and kitchen wastes involved. Every tonne of food waste kept out of landfill prevents greenhouse gases, including methane, from being created. So the more we compost, the better it is.